everybody! I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And I am... Well, we are going to finish up Hidden Mysteries to Buckingham Palace. That's the plan, anyway. So, in our last episode, we found gems. And uh, in, in this episode, we're, we're going to find more gems. So let's start in the ballroom. Ballroom. The ballroom was the first room in the palace to be wired for electricity. The entire palace was subsequently wired between 1883 and 1887. Today it hosts over 40,000 light bulbs. That's a lot of light bulbs. So let's see what we got. Floor de lis vaccine. <laughs> Claw, tuba, pile of books. There's the books. I was just playing some demos and it's so weird to go from a full screen newer game to a very, very, very tiny screen and an old game. And I'm totally, oh, there's a fleur-de-lis. I was not looking for anything. Oh, it's a fleur-de-lis. It appears to have been misplaced. Well, how do you know that? Let's see, where's that vaccine? Vaccine, that thing that people should be taking so that we can stop being in quarantine and people can stop dying and yeah, all that stuff. Unless you can't take it for medical reasons and then that's fine. Tuba. Tuba is a cool word. Baseball bat, no, that's drumsticks. That's not a baseball bat. I really like to not have to wear a mask at the uh, grocery store anymore. So if everyone could get on that whole vaccination thing, you know, on top of people dying, it would just be more convenient, you know? Why do I not see the hamburger anywhere? Oh, there it is. Hourglass. Oh, let me see. Hourglass goblet I just saw. Trowel. Trowel. From six, saw you. British Isles, ha! Got that less time. Picture and a calculator. Is that a calculator? Oh wow, that's a, one of those old ones where it's got the roll of paper and when you type up the numbers it prints it out. My dad used to have one of those way back in the day and I used to use up all the paper in it. Good times. At least I thought so, I'm pretty sure. He wasn't overly pleased. No, that's not a baseball bat, that's a pencil. Where's the baseball bat? Oh, there it is. Claw Hourglass Pitcher. Let's see, where am I not looking? There's the pitcher. Oh look, I didn't see that soldier back there. I think he's a dummy though. Or a mannequin. I'm looking for a claw. And I'm not finding one. There's a tooth. Tooth and claw. Ha 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 ha. Oh, there's some teeth. Tooth and a teeth. I am not very focused. It's... I'm tired. I should probably be going to bed instead of streaming, but I actually want to start off a new set of, of games to play for streaming. But... oh, there's a claw. But if I have this one hanging in the background, then I will be annoyed because I am a completionist. I saw that like eight times. All right. Let's see, do we do the dining room? Yeah, let's do the dining room. The state dining room was one of the last state rooms to be completed. John Nash originally designed it to be much simpler than it became upon Bloor's redesign. Although both imposing and beautiful, it bears little resemblance to Nash's French influence design in other parts of the palace. That is a very red room. A Fabergé egg, pastries, lifesaver, and a shoe print. Shoe print. Nope, that's a life jacket. It's also really cold in my office because the temperature drops back at night so it's cooler for sleeping. And I'm wearing shorts and my legs are cold. And I'm too dumb to, uh, go get some- that's a pastry, to go get longer pants or a blanket or something. Oh, my legs are so cold. Light bulb. 
Wow, I am so not paying attention at all. Oh, there's a lifesaver. There's the umbrella. Rubber ducky. There it is. There's a goose. Oh, that's a pretty... That's actually not a butterfly. That's a moth. There's actually way more moths than there are butterflies. Wait, didn't I do a wine... Oh, a full wine glass. Hank Green has a really uh, cool Vlogbrothers video on um, the difference between moths and butterflies. Their videos are always under four minutes, so if you have four minutes, you should check it out. I will put a link in the description. For those who don't know, I don't know. I forgot what I was looking for. Oh, okay, let me... <laughs> so, for those who don't know, anything I mention in the video, or at least most of the things I mentioned in the video, I try to include links to in the description so you have some semblance of what on earth I'm talking about at any given moment. I did not see the Fabergé egg. What is that in the fireplace? That looks like some sort of weird alligator mask. I have no idea what that is. My screen is too small. It looks like a bizarre weird drawing of a dragon or something. I'm looking for French, French pastries. Hmm. Yeah, now my dyslexia is going to jump out. French pastries. Candy apple. Oh, I found the candy apple. And a Fabergé egg. And if I say French pastries one more time, I'm going to be sad because I don't have any French pastries. Matter of fact, I don't have any pastries at all. It is very sad. Oh, there's the egg. You would... Oh. This delicate jewel should be on display somewhere. That does not look like a Fabergé egg. That is a cheap imitation of a Fabergé egg. Um, that looks like a very weirdly colored Easter egg. Are these the pastries? Those are like English muffins with jelly on them. That's not a pastry. Sheesh. Uh, let's do the chapel first. I don't think we've done either of these rooms. Nope. In 1982, Pope John Paul II visited Britain. The Queen, as titular head of the curse, head of the curse. Let's start that over again. As titular head of the Church of England received His Holiness at Buckingham Palace, it was Britain's first papal visit in 450 years. That's a long time. You'd think they were harboring some sort of resentment or something. Let's see, a rosette, harp, axe, and a saw. Rosette, harp, axe, and a saw. And a lifesaver. Was that the rosette? No, I think that's a pinwheel. Pinwheel, pinwheel, spinning around. That's an old show that I actually didn't think was real for a while. Apparently it was what Nickelodeon was for kids stuff long, long ago, before it was Nick Jr. I'm not looking at anything again. Harp Axe saw Butterfly Crowbar. There's an axe. There's a saw. There's a bird. My kids are learning microscopes. There's a microscope, which is pretty cool. They have some really cool classes this year. I'm jealous. All the classes I took in school were terrible. I mean, partially that's because nobody knew I had learning disabilities, or ADHD, or, you know, any of the other things that I have. They just thought I wasn't trying hard enough. <laughs> uh, let's see, tablets, aspirin even, lemons, cart, chest. Some of this stuff in this particular level is extremely easy to find and some of it is just like eluding my every whatever. There's the hairbrush. Where is it? I just saw it. What is that up there? Weird stuff in these pictures. Okay, crowbar, cross, and a pipe. Like, I assume a smoking pipe. 
I assume. Is that a crowbar? If my screen was bigger, it would be much easier to find very skinny things. And the pipe. The radio and a sombrero for some reason. Oh, there's the pipe. Okay, where's the crowbar? I cannot find the crowbar. Okay, I know it looks like a crowbar. I'm I don't know why I bothered doing that. It's not like in the reflection now. They've done that a couple of times to me. I think in this game they try to keep things the same color though. Again, I don't know what I expected out of that. Oh, there it is. I found it. I wasn't looking that far down. All right, last one. Then we should get a gem. The white drawing room is furnished with French antiques and English cut glass chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. The elegant colors of the furnishings stand out starkly against the gold walls. Three tall windows overlook the gardens, flanked by solid mahogany shutters. I guess we don't get to see those particular windows. A very cool fire uh, fireplace and mirror, though. Let's see. Remote control, flippers, firewood, canteen. Remote control, flippers, firewood, canteen. There's a walkie-talkie. Oh, there's the remote. Uh, flippers, firewood. No, that's a basket. There's a croissant. Do I need a croissant? Probably not. Uh, canteen coin, clock, trumpet. There's a trumpet. There's a clock. Vegetables? I think that's vegetables. Um, canteen, coin, is that a coin? Yes, yes it is. Lipstick. I think they had a lipstick in a different room that was in exactly the same position. It was like to the right of a fireplace, like it was a statue. I don't know why I remember that but I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, there's the pine cone. I know I saw- what is that supposed to be? I don't know what that is. There's a crown. Oh, I'm supposed to be looking for crowns! We discovered that in the last playthrough. I forgot again. There's another one. They give me extra points. What was I doing? Firewood, canteen, razor blade, ashtray. Firewood... Canteen... Razor blade, ashtray. What particular kind of ashtray? It's so weird that those aren't like a thing a lot as much as they used to be. There it is. There used to be ashtrays everywhere. And now, at least in New Jersey, there's no smoking inside if it's not private property. Like your house. Like if it's private property like a store, you're also not allowed to do that. I mowed the lawn this afternoon, so uh, my allergies are kind of trying to assassinate me. Canteen. A razor blade and firewood. The firewood is not in the fireplace because there's a film reel in there. And I need a razor blade. I think I've seen a razor blade in here. There's some clippers, or, uh, or grabbers. Nail clipper. Oh, look, a nutcracker. I collect nutcrackers. I used to have a whole bunch of them, but then I sold them to pay for college. As you do. Wow, my skills are just non existent. Oh, that was the firewood. I actually thought that was a, a bucket with wine bottles sticking out. All right, so are we looking for a razor blade or a razor blade? Okay, so it's just the blade part of that. Oh, there it is. I was looking for a straight razor. All right, let's see. So many objects found. Now it's time to put a few back. There are things missing here that were taken from other rooms. It's simply good manners to replace them if they're, they're of no further use. Sure. Okay, so the egg goes on to table. 
And this panel goes up there. I don't know how we would get it up there. Where does the fleur de lis go? Up oh, the candlestick goes over here. Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's a wallpaper pattern. This is the Guana. That's not how you say that word. This is the Guyana garnet. It's almost hypnotizing. I think it's, is it Guyana? It was just in one of the Fabergé eggs. That actually makes sense because I'm pretty sure that generally speaking, you're not allowed to touch stuff like that in the palace. So if you hid something inside one of the Fabergé eggs that they had on display, there's the likelihood no one would open it for decades unless someone had to clean it or something. All right, so now we are on act eight and we have three more gems. That's over half the missing jewels, but still not a lot of insight into why they disappeared or why someone would be either so bold or so stupid as to hide them under the royal roof. It's almost as if it was meant as a slap in the face. Don't we know why they were missing? Weren't they missing because what's his face stole them? All right, well, front gate. We have been here before. The changing of the guards takes place in the forecourt beyond this gate. The daily ceremony is a major tourist attraction and usually occurs around 11 a.m. We are looking for a black knight, an alligator skull, a mouse, and a bunny. I know where the bunny is. There's a the bunny. Oh, and there's the mouse too, and the alligator skull is right next to it. I got bug bites while I was mowing the lawn. I hate bug bites. Ooh, that's a really nice shaped knight. It's a knight from a standard chess set. Do you know for professional chess sets like that they use in like big competitions and stuff, all the pieces are hand carved and it takes longer to carve the knight than it does any of the other pieces because it's all done by hand. There's no like molds or, I mean, it's wood. I don't know how you would mold wood, but there's no mechanical process for it. It's all done by hand. It's actually pretty cool. And I guess they have to be a certain weight and they have to be an extremely specific height and you have to like study and practice and apprentice for making the different pieces. I just thought they were playing with pieces. I didn't realize it made a difference. I guess if you're always playing with exactly the same set, then nobody can say, oh, well, I just lost because I'm not used to this set. But that's not a gem. Oh, there's a gem. That's not the kind we're looking for, though. Footprint. Lobe. Nope. There's a pool ball. Uh, ta -ta -ta oh, there it is. I remembered it was here. All right, let's do, let's do the chapel again. There have been six archbishops of Canterbury during Queen Elizabeth II's length. Elizabeth II's length, probably lengthy reign. Archbishops, Geoffrey Fisher, Michael Ramsey, Donald Coggin, or Cogan, Robert Runis, Runis? George Carey and Rowan Williams. At first, I thought they were going to say that there had been six, like, for a long time. And I kind of figured that wasn't right. But yeah, okay, that makes sense. She's been queen for a long time. She will outlive us all until she doesn't. Letter cross rolling pin seahorse. Rolling pin. I think I saw like eight times. Yeah, there it is. I remember that. Lemons, a rabbit's foot, Mexican hat, it's a sombrero, cellophane tape, ha 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 ha, a wig, that I saw a bunch of times, fork, oh, that's like a meat fork for turning things over while you're cooking, trophy, I don't remember what that is. What else do I need? Oh, I 
saw that. No, ah, that's, oh. When I first saw this, I thought this was a dolphin and that was its face, but that's its tail and it's a, uh, it's a killer whale in Orca. That's pretty funny. Letter trophy, pocket watch is down here. Oops, I went too far. Uh, letter trophy, diver's mask and mirror. I don't know why I say mirror instead of mirror. I've been doing that for a long time. I thought there was a letter there, but maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Mirror. Oh, there's a trophy. I actually thought this was a little alcove, like there was an attic up there and there was stuff up there, but that is actually a painting, which makes more sense. Oh, there's a letter. Oh, is this one we have to read? Whoa, what is this? Let's read it first. Ms. Freeman, today is all the more beauteous when compared to the recent dark night I have endured. I do appreciate your letter dated August 14th. I agree Andover is lovely this time of year. I wish I could join you, but as you well know I cannot, I have heard from J.S. Whoever that is, where is that? I have been checking the post like a hysteric, or yeah, no, hysteric, and his letter finally arrived. Being the consummate gentleman, the gentleman, it was, of course, no simple letter. Fringed with lily white lace and a bewitching scent. I cannot, oh, a bewitching scent I cannot place. I will inform you as events progress. Yours, Miss Anne Morley. But it's a code. I assume I just put it here like that. What happened? Oh. Okay. What's this? Like, aren't I supposed to do something with this? Uh, maybe I have to do it when I finish this. Okay, I just need a mirror. There it is. Okay. It seems like I should do something with this. Um, I guess it has to have... Letter. It has to have all the... Miss Freeman. Nope. It has to be all the way on. A day to night and checkmate white. What could that mean? What? Oh, there. Dagnabbit. Day to night and checkmate white. Okay. It would have been nice if it, like, let me do that. As soon as I clicked on it, it closed. All right, back to the Queen's Gallery. The Queen has sat for 139 portraits during her lifetime. She was only seven years of age when she sat for her first portrait, commissioned by her mother and painted by Philip, Philip Alexius de Laszlo in 1933. Hmm. Brown. There's another one. Okay. Prism, gramophone, meat, scythe, and a ruler. There's a ruler. Gramophone. Prism. Prisms are cool. Oh! A large, heavy prism. It looks silvered on two sides. Meat. Meat is delicious. What else am I looking for? Scythe, snowman, dog, statue, false teeth. There's teeth. A dog statue. Ah, there we go. A greyhound. And there's a snowman. Scythe, wrench, dragon, apple, orca. I saw the orca. That's a tomato. Uh, I already forgot all the things that they just told me to look for. Oh, that's a megaphone. I thought it was a weird key. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, scythe, wrench, dragon, apple, keyhole. Scythe, wrench, dragon... Is that a dragon? No, that wasn't a dragon. I don't know what it was at all. I will have to go back and look at some point. Well, when I edit, I'll know. So then I will know in the present, but it will be the future. I'm tired. Oh, there's the apple. Top hat. 
keyhole. There it is. I knew I saw it. A crutch. And a scythe. Why can't I find the scythe? You'd think that would be big and easy to see. There's a spear. There's a crutch. Is it in one of the paintings, maybe? I know I have not been looking at the paintings the way I should be. Oh, there it is. It's on the side of a painting. Okay. Last room. Oh, the blue drawing room. That's a new one. The blue drawing room is arguably the most magnificent in the palace, situated between the music room and the state dining room. It is the last of the state rooms through which the royal procession passes on its way to state dinners. That is very elegant. I don't know, I'm not thrilled with the color scheme, but I guess they don't care what I think. Alright, so headphones, pretzel, mahjong tile, cowbell. Pretzel. What kind of pretzel? Probably like a soft pretzel. I'm not paying any attention again. Maybe this was a bad idea. There's a bagel. Scissors, fan. What else do I need? Oh, I need a camera. And a dartboard. And boxing gloves. And a spoon and a tumbleweed. Is that a tumbleweed? That's not a tumbleweed. That's like one of those decorative wooden vine balls that you put in a bowl at the center of your table if you don't have kids that will play with them and break them. I know that's very specific, but it's the truth. Oh wait, there's the helm again. French horn. Telephone. Spoon. What's that? Oh, I think that's a paddle. Oh, let's see. Pretzel mahjong tile, cowbell microphone, spoon dog statue. Is that the microphone? No, I don't know what that is. I really need a bigger monitor. Oh, there's the mahjong tile. That's a three of bamboo. We used to have a mahjong game on the original Sega. Pretty sure it was the original, not the next one. And since it was back in the old days when every- wait, oh, I need cowbell, not a bell. There it is. Um, since it was back in the old days when everything was boring, it was super exciting. It was actually very well designed, um, and it played very nice. There's a spoon. But yeah, that was like the highlight, was getting a turn to play on the Sega, and you got to play Mahjong. Okay, a dog statue and a pretzel. You'd think I would have seen one of those. There's a frog. Uh, is, a, is that a garlic? Oh, no, it's a crown! Is that another crown? No, that's a plunger. <laughs> Not the same. There's a creepy clown. Oh, there's a pretzel. It's a tiny one. That is a hard pretzel. I do not see a dog statue. And I don't know why. Let's see, what does it look like? Yeah, that's what I thought it looked like. Oh, there it is. I figured it was the same one from the last room. Aha! There is a rather obtrusive chessboard with a per peculiar configuration of pieces here. Perhaps the queen is in the middle of a game. I don't know, does the queen play chess? Oh. Okay, let's see. That did it. White is checkmated. Game over. Oh, I thought I was going to have to do a chess game thing. Did that just open the curtains? Or is that just... That doesn't seem like a thing. The shaft of light is shining directly on the night. What's happening? So that was supposed to be magic then, right? That like... Like a box on the chessboard didn't open up. Um, there wasn't some sort of hidden compartment. It just morphed into a gem. Also, I am 95% sure that is not what that opal looks like. It's the opal knight. A pretty literal place to hide it. Oh, a pretty literal place to hide it. Gotcha. 
Okay, we got two left, so I bet there's 10x. Either that or there's 10x, and then we do like one more act where we're doing something with all the gems. Like, what's our end game here? Are we just gonna like run away with them and sell them somewhere? That doesn't seem like a good idea. But like, if you found all these gems and then like brought them to the palace and said, here I found these, they'd probably arrest you, right? I don't know. I'm probably reading too much into this. The signature on that cryptic letter to Miss Freeman was signed Anne Morley, AM. Admittedly, at this point, that is merely replacing one cipher with another, but it's still a step in the right direction. The name sounds familiar. Oh, because Morley was mentioned in one of the other sections. Ah, stupid itchy bug bites. Okay, let's do the marble hall, which I'm still disappointed is carpeted. The floor of this hallway is made from a single piece of white marble. How it was transported or put in place is a mystery in and of itself. But you put carpet over top of it, so then you can't slide on it in your socks. What's the point? Hmm. Okay. Night figurine scoop robot. He's in there. Uh, greater alarm clock iron. Night figurine. Like, not a knight like we just found, but like a knight of the round table, maybe? What is that? There's a lipstick. Lipstick to the left of the fireplace. Is that like got some hidden meaning I don't know about? That's the third room I've seen that in. There's a knight. A figurine of a medieval knight. Okay. Oh, there's a crown. Uh, let's see. What is that? Is that a pulley? Yeah, I think that's a pulley. Scoop greater alarm clock iron space shuttle is right there. Uh, let's see. There's the grater. There's a cup. Oh, there's another crown. There's another frog. Alarm clock. Oh, I know where the beach ball is. That's over there. Cocktail shaker. Drama mask. There it is. That's not the correct drama mask, really? Oh, that's the comedy mask. Sorry. I told you my computer screen is small. It's hard to tell if he was smiling or crying. A cannonball. Uh oh, there's a gorilla on the ceiling. And a harp. Oh, here's see. Scoop iron harp cannonball. Scoop, iron, harp, harp, cannonball. Is, what is that? Is that there's something there? I think that's like a glass thing or something. Um, what do I need? So scoop, iron, cannonball. I guess many cannonballs are iron. Ha 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 ha. Uh, there's a teapot. No, I'm looking for... That's a shovel. Is that a shovel? I think that's a shovel. Wait, I know I got the scoop. I need an iron and a cannonball. Oh, wait, there's a cannonball. I was hiding with that box. All right, an iron. There it is. Ta-da! Uh, let's go to the dining room. Over 50,000 people visit Buckingham Palace each year as the Queen quest guest as the queen's guests at meals receptions and garden parties spelling issues here uh, it's fine I have spelling issues myself I have reading issues this evening all right night duck that's a duck oh there's a duck a different kind of duck. Utility knife, hammer, empty wine glass. Ha ha ha. There's the empty wine glass. Knight, utility knife, hammer, doll. There's a doll. Clownfish. Nemo. Where is he? You don't see him. He's around somewhere. Uh, light bulb, pastries. Okay, those definitely look like English muffins, like with jelly and peanut butter and some sort of fruit and then something else on that one. It's almost like pastries. That looks more like a pastry. That looks like one of those cruller donuts. But I think it's probably a bundt cake. 
bum 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 bum. There's a red balloon. Oh, there's a tomato. Lobster, I just saw you. Ah, candy apple is over here. A sombrero. He's under the table where I can't see it good. Coffee grinder, there we go. And then we have boxing gloves. The boxing gloves were kind of in the same spot in a couple of rooms too. Oh, there's a clownfish. Nemo. Or Marlin, I guess. Hammer, utility knife. Oh, that kind of utility knife. I was thinking a box cutter, which is also sometimes called a utility knife. Night figurine and a hammer. Night figurine and a hammer. Where am I not looking? I'm not seeing either of those things. Uh huh. All right. The hammer's right there. Now, the night figurine, that's the same thing they said in the last game, so I'm, or last room, rather. I'm assuming it looks similar, but I done see it. I don't know where it is. Let's see if it's the same. Okay, it's running, but it's the same general thing. Oh, there he is. He was very skinny and I didn't see him. A figurine of a medieval knight. It is positioned rather oddly. Yes. You are correct. Go to the blue drawing room. The blue drawing room was originally intended to be used as a ballroom. However, Queen Victoria built a larger and more appropriately located ballroom during her reign, relegating this room to one of several opulent drawing rooms. Did you actually draw in drawing rooms? I don't think you did. Oh, there's another knight figure in here somewhere. Oh, that's a tank. He's pointing down. I guess he's going to shoot the floor. Is that a crown? Yes. Knight urn pumpkin walkie-talkie. I saw the pumpkin. Pumpkin! It is almost pumpkin time here in uh, the eastern United States. No, that's not an urn. That's a flower pot. Maybe we get to go pumpkin picking this year. Last year we did not because everybody was closed. Is that it? Nope. Walking talk. Oh, the pretzel said, whoa, I almost went too far again. Pretzel dinosaur skull. Uh, I guess that's a dinosaur skull. That kind of looks like an alligator skull, but it's not. Another mahjong tile. Eggle. Let's see. Oh, I bet that's the urn. A guitar. Electric guitar. CD cases, clarinets, a bottle. Is that a crown? No, that's one of those. It's not a holy hand grenade. I actually have no idea what it's called, but it's one of those. There's the knight. A figure of a medieval knight. Okay, bottle brain. I saw the brain like eight times. There it is. Bottle glove camera. Walkie talkie. There's a the walkie talkie. Glove and a bottle. Glove. Well, those are boxing gloves. I don't think that's what they're looking for. There's crown. Uh, glove, 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 glove. And a bottle. Is that a bottle? No, that's a jug. There's a puzzle piece hidden in the wallpaper. There's a bottle. Up oh, there's the glove. They were both in the curtains. Let's do the music room again. Among the musical luminaries to grace the palace music room were such virtuo virtuos mm, virtuosos as Wolfgang, <laughs> my poor brain, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Johann Strauss, and Felix Mendelssohn. That's pretty cool. It's too bad there wasn't, like, recording back then. Like, video of it is so neat. I guess that's true of, like, anything that happened before video and stuff was invented. Uh, lion, lightning bolt, turtle, and a pear. I saw the pear. Where's the pear? There it is. A 
magnet and a gong. I thought I saw the magnet. There it is. Airbrush, boot, violin, basketball. There's the lightning bolt. Baby bottle. Broken pencil. That is such a weird item to include in something. Siren. Not the mythical Greek or Roman type. Uh, let's see. Violin. Violin. That's not a good place to keep a violin. Someone will step on it and then you will be sad. Brush. No, oh, not that kind of brush. Or is that a broom? Could be either. Uh, oh, there's a lion. Turtle and a hairbrush. There's that cute dinosaur. Turtle and a hairbrush. Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? I don't know because I'm not looking. There it is. That doesn't look like a hairbrush. That looks like a dust pan and broom type thing. There's it. Oh, that's a turtle under there. I couldn't figure out what that was last time. He's a little turtle. All right. Last room. This is a very green room. Wow. To get to the throne room from the lower floor, it is necessary to pass through this lavishly appointed chamber with vibrantly green silk walls. It is the only drawing room in the palace that is directly adjacent to the throne room. That is a lot. That is just a lot. A figurine of a medieval knight. It is positioned rather oddly. Yes, it is. Okay, let's see. Maracas steering wheel, car keys, paintbrush. Maraca, oh, there's a car keys. Maracas, nope, that's not maracas. Steering wheel, paintbrush. Oh, lion, eggs, lucky cat. There's a lucky cat. Teddy bear. Sad looking teddy bear. Lion, I just saw the lion. Dang it. Nope, that's a fox. It was over here, I thought. Rawr. Uh, eggs, candy cane, garlic. There's a corn. I am not looking for things. Uh, let's start at the beginning. Maraca steering wheel, paint blush, paint to brush. Lion, eggs, candy cane. Eggs. Garlic. I don't see the lion again. I know I saw the lion. Oh, there he is. I knew I'd seen him. A radish, multi-tool knife, and a butterfly. Radish. Brown. Multi-tool. That is a radish. Uh, let's see. We grew radishes this year. Not many came up. It was our first year. But it was kind of cool. They were very radishy. Do I need a butterfly? I do need a butterfly. That's a staple remover. I hope that's pills because it kind of looks like intestines. Maraca steering wheel, paintbrush, multi tool, or multi tool knife. That's all one thing. Up oh, there's the steering wheel. There's multi tool. See, they were calling it a utility knife in the other room. Wait, do I need that? That looks important. Maraca and a paintbrush. I've seen maracas in like eight other rooms. There's a paintbrush. How come I can't see it in this one? Oh, look, it's a dodo. Dodos are the funniest looking birds. Okay, I'm completely missing it. What does it look like? It looks like a maraca. I know what a maraca looks like. All right. Oh, okay. So that actually helped because I thought this was a pineapple grenade and that the handle was part of the trimming on the curtain. But that is a green maraca. Naked ladies. This mantle appears to have once hosted a series of figurines. Their imprint is still barely visible in the dust. I don't think there's dust in that castle. I don't think there's that much dust in that castle. No way. Okay. Huh. 
Ah, huh. this is supposed to be like... I'm confused. You're not gonna give me any hints or anything? I don't want to just like move them around. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. You're not going to give me any hints or anything? Return the knight figurines to their proper place on the mantle. Look closely at each knight as, as, look closely. Each knight has a unique pose. Duh. Having a hard time, click the solve button for the solution. Well, I don't want to just have it solve it for me. It looks like these three are like a progression. Like, I'm running, I'm running, I'm stopping. Oh no, he has a sword, I'm falling backwards. Um. Maybe like that. I literally, oh wait, are they all supposed to touch each other? I've seen puzzles like that. Um. I don't think you would be touching anybody. You could be. Ha ha! I got it! Something fell down the chimney. That's not how chimneys work. Anne, I do not underestimate your power alone and know that you will do much to change the crown. But think of what could have been with your blood and my accout... Is that accoutrements? Accoutrements? We could have ruled like no other before. Would that I could be by your side, but we are not to be. I know this now. You possess knowledge that would surely do me in. Pray carry it with you until your dying day, as I will carry your heart with me. Not a soul knows more so than you that the crown has treasons, treasons? Yeah, treasons of its own. History shall judge our Lord Protector more kindly. Love, John Sheffield, First Duke of Buckingham. And that was just in the fireplace. They clean the fireplaces, you know. The Ruby of Cancun. Cancun? It's not Cancun. Cancun. It's magnificent. There are stories of entire wars fought over this stone. It isn't exactly a pleasant thing to think about. Yeah, that's true. Wow, there's only three rooms in this one. Act 10. Anne Morley is Queen Anne. That makes some sense. Her ascension was certainly tumultuous, and there was no love lost between her and her father, James II. More importantly, this letter seems to implicate John Sheffield as a revolutionary. If Anne was in love with him, surely she would have left. She would have felt horribly torn. I mean, so far we've only seen stuff that he loves her, I think. Remember any letters written by her? Could be wrong, though. Alright, back to the green drawing room. The green drawing room is used by day as a room of assembly for deputations immediately before royal reception. Within this room, honorees are trained on how to approach the queen when they are received in the throne room. It's probably a good idea. Blank slate. Smoke. Ugh. This slate has some slight sketched etched lines in the surface, but they are presently illegible. I bet we need some chalk or a piece of paper and a pencil. Let's see, smoke detector that I saw. There's that kind of sad looking teddy bear. It's kind of cute. Magnet, lion, cup, chess piece, that is a big chess piece. They have a chess set about that size at one of the malls near here. It's like a full-size chess set, like just at the mall that you can move around and stuff. I think like people try to walk off with it, but I guess they're kind of too big for that. Uh, let's see. Magnifying glass, basket, multi-tool, knife. If you came across a chess set that was that big, 
and you were 100% positive you could get away with it, which piece would you steal? So I doubt you'd be able to steal more than one. The knights are pretty awesome. I always kind of go with the queen, but I don't know. A rook would be really cool too. I might take a rook. I don't know if I'd take black or white though. I don't know if I have a color preference. Obviously white goes first, but like, aside from that, I don't know if I have like a specific preference over one or the other. Where is the magnifying glass? What is that? Huh. Some of these maps, I wonder, oh, there it is. How much of this stuff is actually there and how much of it isn't? Okay, let's do the kitchen and then the throne room. In addition to extravagant banquets, the kitchen regularly produces meals for the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh at small informal luncheon parties where they meet distinguished people from all professions, trades, and vocations. The first lunch was held on the 11th, 11th May, 1956, and the tradition continues to this day. The, the way British people, and probably the rest of the world, because that's kind of how this works, do the date is wrong and my brain doesn't like it. You drive on the wrong side of the road. So blah. <laughs> Let's see, wine glass. Oh, the wine glass has been in the open air for a while, but there's still a small amount of congealing wine at the bottom. That's gross. You couldn't find an empty, clean one. Notebook fan snail. There's a snail. Snails are cool. Notebook. There it is. Fan. Postage stamp. Royal guard. That's a doll. A uh, bone. Up oh, there it is. Sunglasses on the skull. Oh, that isn't sun. That looks like sunglasses, didn't <laughs> it? They are not sunglasses. Okay, sunglasses, pepper, I just saw. Uh, ladle, are those sunglasses? No, that's a, uh, protective glasses. Sunglasses, ladle, broom, recorder, electric razor, phone, phone, rubber glove. And an oh, there's the rubber glove. There's the sunglasses. There's a phone. An electric razor and a ladle. Ladle, 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 ladle. Oh, there's the erect. That kind of looks like a camera, honestly. Uh, oh, there's a crown. <laughs> there's a bell. Why do I not see a ladle? There's a key and a sword and a hanger. There's Smokey the Bear's hat. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, what, it looks like a ladle. Okay, it's sideways. That helps a little bit. Oh, for heaven's sakes, what is it with this spot? The knife I used or uh, couldn't find the first time was right there. And then I couldn't find the apple one time too. Jeez Louise. All right. The throne room is dominated by a dais, housing the thrones of the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. The royal arch forms a proscenium? I don't know what that word is. A whatever that word is, gilded by winged figurines and supported by 18th century trophies of carved and gilt wood. Is that this? I don't see any winged anythings. I think that's what they're talking about, though. Ha ha ha, I found a crown. Okay, letter. Well, let's find the letter first. There it is. To Commander Edwin Derrick, from Secretary to the Prince Regent. Response, oh, regarding, maybe? Senior Messenger Sergeant David Fellows. Commander Derrick, 
Please see that Sergeant David Fellows is handed over to CID. I want you to supervise it personally. He has been using royal correspondence for his own gain, extorting money and committing fraud on various occasions. All correspondence under his supervision should be immediately turned over to Messenger Yeoman Stark, who as of now assumes the vacant position. Please remind Yeoman Stark that all correspondence examined under Fellow's Watch must be re-examined, including the AM letters. Cordially, Secretary to the Prince Regent. Well, there you go then. Ah, uh, golden swords? Well, that's... Oh, an ornamental sword of gold plate. I mean, gold plated. Okay, so let's see. Brush, lamp, recorder, pipe. Brush, wait, where's that? Flashlight. Brush, lamp. Is that an egg? Recorder. Recorder. Brush. Mm, and flute. I guess those aren't, that's not a pipe, it's a flute. Alright, let's see. Uh, dragon, I saw. There you are. Teapot, treble clef, utility knife. Teapot, treble clef. Utility knife. Teapot. Oh, there's the pipe. Teapot. No whistling. Telephone. I don't remember that being on the list, but there it was. Oh, there's a teapot right in front of the throne. Let's see. Bottle, fish, wire cutters. I just saw the wire cutters. Uh, shoes. Shoes. So lamp, utility knife, bottle, and a fish. Lamp. Utility knife. Bottle. And fish. I I've been live for a while. Have you- are you not the one who's been here the whole time? Cause that'd be weird. Lamp, utility knife, bottle. No, you haven't? Somebody else was here then. Strange. I don't know what I'm doing. There's a lamp. Post 10 is awesome. Post 10 has a YouTube channel and he is an awesome dude who cleans out storm drains and goes hiking in the woods and finds abandoned buildings and he is an awesome dude and a very nice guy and all of you should subscribe to him. Utility knife, which I saw 80 times. And a bottle. That's a little bit more ambiguous. There it is. I thought that was a chair leg. The walls of the throne room are covered in red silk. This recent restoration as Queen Mary had oh, this is a recent restoration as Queen Mary had the silk removed in 1928, replacing it with a flat gray paint in order to better feature the room's ornate gilding. Oh, that doesn't sound like a good idea. I would have expected the thrones of the king and or queen, whichever, of England to be slightly more ornate and or slightly more comfortable looking. Those chairs don't look that comfy. The chairs next to them look com comfier. Huh. All right, um, I assume we're just putting the sword back. No, are we cutting something? Okay, we need to pour the, no. Okay, what are we trying to accomplish here? Because I have a cup full of nasty wine, a slate that I need to see what's on it and can't, and a gold-plated sword. And now my pointer is blinking at an overstuffed chair. Am I going to slice into this chair randomly for no reason at all? Why? The sword is sharper than it looks. It cut a sizable hole in the, upholst in the upholstery. Why did you do that just now? A small ball of cotton batting. Hopefully the damage to the chair isn't irreversible. You just cut a hole in a chair sitting next to the throne of the Queen of England. You couldn't have done that in any other room in the castle? Alice? 
I guess calluses, calluses, calluses are different. Palaces and castles are different. Well, now that goes on there. The wine must have evaporated quite a bit. It's opaque as ink. Yeah, and now I'm gonna spread that on here. Take a matched pair of swords. Okay, but why did I, no, I'm not gonna to try to find logic on that. Okay, so I took another secret passage and there's an envelope on the floor. There is a secret passage behind the throne where all you have to do is take the swords off the wall and nobody noticed. Aside from the fact that you just ripped a hole in the chair. Oh wow, that is really tiny. Bear with me. I have a secret I have promised to take with me to my grave. This is a promise I intend to keep. However, my loyalties are such that I must reach beyond the grave through you, future reader, to divulge this secret. Hopefully long after, after it can do... Mm -hmm. I told you to bear with me. Hopefully long after it can do my love... It can do my love any harm. Okay, sure. When John Sheffield told me about his finding the regalia during Cromwell's exhumation, my first reaction was to immediately tell my father, James. I decided to wait. I had planned a holiday in Bath and resolved to think it over during my journey. When I returned, father informed me that in my absence, he had a son, James Francis Edward. I had only been gone three months, and there was no sign or indication when I departed that Mary was pregnant. Was this child false or true? I could never determine, but I had my suspicions. It was then that I thought it in the best interest of the true monar monarchy to withhold for a time the location of the regalia. John disclosed to me that he hid them around his Buckingham estate. I knew there... There they would be safe, and that once some time had passed, the monarchy would stabilize, and the location of the regalia made known to one possessing the wit to uncover them. What you do now, future reader, is your choice, but I implore thee to restore the regalia to their rightful owners. Yours, respectively, across the ages, Queen Anne, you may call me Ms. Morley. This is not a bad plan, in retrospect. The way it was executed is not great. Also, I don't know that much about English history, and I know nothing about the crown jewels, but I'm pretty sure all of those jewels, since they were named after various countries that England colonized, belong to those particular countries, and they would be the rightful owners, not England. But that's getting into a completely different conversation that has nothing to do with a puzzle game from 10 years ago. Aha, I was right. Act 11. Okay. Aha! If Anne suspected her father's rather conveniently born son was an orphan purchased to keep her from ascension, surely she would have felt not only betrayed, but would fear that this child would initiate a false line of kings. She was wise to play her cards close to her chest. As events played out, the British public was less forgiving towards her father than she was. Yeah, I have no idea. All right, let's do the secret passage again. Back to where it all started. On second look, it seems this passage has in fact been used recently, just not very often. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Okay, a marble chunk, huh? All right. Oh, that's a frog. Okay. Marble chunk, binoculars, croissant, ball and chain. There's the ball and chain and the croissant. Book, stool, bat. Maybe a bat. And a stool. Leaves. Book. No, oh, book, leaves, fork, pine cone. Book, leaves, fork, oh, there's crown. Pine cone. Leaves. That's actually one leaf with different off offshoots, but that's okay. We won't get into that right now. 
<clears throat> safety pin collar like a dog collar ah, yep okay axe which I just saw there it is scrub brush chopsticks which I did not just see I don't see them uh, marble chunk binoculars book fork chopsticks I saw the binoculars there they are and there's the book oh is that the chunk time flies that's certainly true when they said marble chunk I thought they meant like a rough piece of stone like a rock to like hit stuff with I don't know why my brain went to hit stuff with but maybe I've been playing these games too long uh, chopsticks I thought that was a scissor and a fork there's a key where's the fork there's a spoon there's a broom there's a fork I couldn't find that fork in a different room uh, I think it was a stable congratulations you found all of the hidden objects in this location okay let's see palace garden Buckingham Palace Gardens hosts a helipad oh okay an artificial lake and a tennis court in 2002 the Queen hosted the first public concerts in the garden in the garden to celebrate her golden jubilee that's pretty cool oh there's another marble chunk in here huh now I know what I'm looking for all right let's see uh marble chunk caterpillar turtle I don't know nope, there's a turtle mug stump handcuffs tomato tomato parasol slingshot chameleon steamroller castle isn't that the castle no once again that's the palace I knew that death rides how uplifting Ooh, gonna be a strange poem in it all right so castle catcher's mask mask look and a unicycle there's a unicycle uh, da, 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 da. there's a fishy again oh there's a steamroller it's a little toy one oh, it's cute there's the handcuffs uh, what are we looking for hook catcher's mask oh, there's the hook castle slingshot I thought I saw the slingshot too um there's a dragon and a pillow and a dome a circuit board oh a crown is that what this is that's a catcher's mask oh okay I thought it was like a um like an off-road motorcycle mask hey it's still mellow hello how are you I decided to stream extremely late and I'm tired and don't know what I'm doing how are you <laughs> I totally am not paying attention oh there's a stump okay it's still the castle Mug slingshot castle good good uh this is almost the end of the game I think pretty sure oh there's the mug um I would be done probably but my brain is not firing on all cylinders oh there's a slingshot I did see the slingshot okay but I did not see a castle ex oh there's the castle this is early afternoon for you that's right oh my gosh it's almost 11 30. I don't know how long I thought this was gonna take but uh oh should we do the tomb or the white drawing room we haven't done either of those let's save the tomb for last let's do the white drawing room oh wait we did do this room when George the fourth went about redesigning Buckingham Palace he brought with him the architect of his brightened retreat John Nash one of Nash's defining architectural characteristics was that he used ceilings as canvases to create lavish artistic statements nowhere was that a trait more evident nowhere was that trait more in evidence than in the lavish drawing room on the upper floor of the palace and of course this picture you can't see the ceiling so that was completely pointless to tell us okay so there's another marble chunk what does this one say grace 
wanes, even for kings and queens. Again, really weird poem. Is that the toy soldier? That's a nutcracker. Well, okay. Technically, they're soldiers, too. Pineapple pliers, remote control screwdriver. Pineapple. I don't seem to remember. Oh, there's the moat. Uh, let's see. Pliers, screwdriver, glove, flippers. I just saw. Sea clamp. I do not see. Ha 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 ha. Bananas. I bought two bunches of bananas this morning and one of my sons ate an entire bunch of bananas all by himself today. That is too many bananas. Uh, nope, I completely forgot what I'm looking for. Let's try it. Let's see. Razor blade. Ha, I remember where that was. Yeah, kid three. If either of the other two ate that much, I would be worried. Because I would think there's something seriously wrong with them. Is that the oven mitt? Oh, that's what that was. I couldn't figure out what that was in the last time we were here. I keep thinking that's the paper bag. There's the paper bag. Ah, uh, C-clamp screwdriver pliers. There's the pliers. The door, a nail clipper, what am I looking for? A screwdriver and a C-clamp. There's a screwdriver. That's cute, hanging from the chandelier. And up oh, there's a crown. Yay! Hey, didn't I put this stuff back? Oh, there's a C-clamp. It was disguised as carpet. Alright, now I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last level. Not positive, though. Oh, that's cool. This is a tomb. Quite an elaborate one at that. What would a tomb be doing within the walls of Buckingham Palace? And perhaps more importantly, whose is it? Um, apparently the uh, monarch is not in residence at the moment, so there's not a lot of people here. But yeah, I would say that I would probably have gotten noticed way before now. Also, is this a real place? Because this is really cool. It doesn't sound like it's real. All the other places sounded like they were real. All right, this must be the last. Life blooms. Not in this room, it doesn't. Uh-huh. All right, let's see. Plaque, tie, handbag, star. I just saw the star. Who's that? Oh, that's a battery. There's the plaque. Oh, Oliver Cromwell. Here lies the body of Oliver Cromwell, Lord Protector of the Commonwealth of England, Scotland, and Ireland, saved from certain desecration by John Sheffield, Duke of Buckingham. So the Duke of Buckingham was a Cromwell sympathizer. Not all that surprising, given his treatment at the hands of the monarchy. He must have built this memorial here and hidden it for fear of being found out. He couldn't have known his house would one day be purchased by the crown, becoming the seat of the very monarchy he despised. Is this a real thing? It seems hard for me to believe that this is a real thing. But it might be. Again, I don't know that much about English history. Um, that's not a handbag. That's a handbag. Very weird. This definitely went in direction that I did not think it was going in. There's a bone. Let's see. Sword, bone, croissant, trumpet, walk. Sword, bone, croissant, trumpet. There's a clarinet. Walk. There's the walk. What is that? I don't know what that is. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's the croissant. There's lots of croissants in this game, and now I'm hungry. Ooh, I have biscuits. We got Popeyes for dinner, and we have biscuits and chicken in the fridge, but I probably shouldn't have it this late at night. There's a sword. Ah, uh, there's a trumpet. Okay, so bone, a stiletto, I saw. Bone, clothespin, and bell. There's clothespin. Bone and bell. I don't saw a bell. Is that the bone? Well, I mean, a skull is a bone. Apparently that's not what they're looking for, though. 
Uh, I already forgot what the- oh, bell. Okay, there's the bell. So, we're looking for a bone. Hmm. There's a horsey. And a cactus, for some reason. And an alligator. There's a toad. And a skull, which is a bone, but you're not gonna let me have that one, huh? Alright, what kind of bone are we looking for? Okay, like a hit you over the head bone, right there. Okay, let's see. The words on these marble chunks must have something to do with removing the slab from Cromwell's tomb. Seeing what's beneath it isn't exactly in an enticing pros an enticing prospect, but we've come this far. Okay. That is a very weird assortment of things. Oh, I need to... Okay, let's see here. I think that one goes there. Time flies. This one probably goes here. Yep. Grace wings. I think that one goes there. Death rides. And life blooms. The words have been replaced, but nothing happened. The order of these words must have another meaning. Oh, okay, so I have to click on stuff. So let's see, life blooms is the rose. Some sort of button, but apparently not the right one. Really? Bonk? Okay. Time flies. Is that a clock hand? I think that's... That doesn't appear to be the correct sequence. Okay, so we have life. What else do we have? What is that? Is that a unicorn or a knight? That's a horse. That's a skull. Am I supposed to go back and forth, maybe? Grace is definitely one of them. Okay. So, life. Time. Oh, no, that's not a clock hand. That's just his legs. What's that? Doesn't appear to be the correct sequence. What else can I click on? Okay, so I can click on those three things. I can't click on those. No idea what that is. That's a horse. That's a rose. That's a skull. Okay, so life is the first one. Life blooms. Should we try death rides next? Nope. Skull. Am I gonna just have to click on all of them? I hate it when I have to do that. So, life. I assume that's his helmet. How is it not the clock? Hmm. <laughs> not the rose. It is the rose. Why is it? Oh, it's a double word. Life blooms. Onk rose. Got it. Time flies. No, that's grace. That's what I thought. Um, I don't know what that is, but apparently it has something to do with fly. Okay, time flies, grace wanes, I think, with the moon. Yeah, and then death rides. Got it. And on his mummy, because they totally mummified Cromwell back in... England is the Eye of Kings. The Eye of Kings. This is the final missing crown jewel. A strange turn of events, to be sure. The Duke of Buckingham might have been upset if he learned that the crown he despised took up residence in his own home. But imagine how upset the crown would be if they knew Oliver Cromwell's body, give or take his head, still rests within their most hallowed walls. 
I guarantee that's not it. Finally, with a little help from Queen Anne, all the crown jewels have been recovered. Now to return them to their rightful place, which again, technically is probably the countries they originated in, but let's put them back in the, I don't know, is there a jewel room? Grand staircase. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I thought we were gonna do another find it thing. Your inventory is empty. Oh, 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 okay. I'm just... What? That's way more jewels than we found. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we found eight gems. But sure, whatever. Also, this is not a super complicated puzzle. Unless I have to do it like where the same- oh, I bet I do. Jewels of the same color are not allowed to touch. Yeah, alright, alright. Can I reset this? All right. I knew that was too easy. So let's start down here. Green. Blue. Red. Green. Blue. Red. And yellow. Uh, that's not gonna work. Hang on. Move out of my way. This has to be yellow. That red. Blue. And that green. And then yellow. And might as well do red there. And then yellow. And then the red one has to go down here. That's blue. Poop. Eggnabbit. Um, all the rest of it worked. I just have this one that's connected with that one. Which I can't do. And if I do that- I know! I know! Chill out! This one doesn't work either. What if I switched it? Shush. <sighs> Growl. Okay. We were doing so well, and then we got to over here and we screwed it all up. Okay. Let's start with a different. Let's see. These in order. Maybe that'll help me out a little bit. Also, for some reason, the yellow and the green look very similar, and I don't know why. Okay. So. Stop that. Let's start in a corner instead. We've got two reds, so let's start with a red. So let's do how many, if we got one of each of these colors? Yes, okay. So let's do red and green, and then yellow. And then blue and yellow. Or we could do blue and red. So we have two reds. I don't know, let's not do that one. Let's go down this way. Um, we can't do yellow, we can do blue here, and then we can do green, and then we can do yellow, and then we can do red, and no we can't. We could do blue though, and then we could do red, and then we could do green. Okay, so far so good. Now what do we got left? Let's- oh, poop. Uh, my screen is not maximized, so I clicked off of it. All right, let's put red, and then green, and then red, and then yellow, poop again. Wait, can I still do this? No. Dang, have it. Those two red ones are driving me nuts. All right, what if I took this one out? Blue over here, and red over there. Does that help me? No. No, it does not help me. In fact, it makes it worse. So the blue one has to be with the green gem. Yes, the blue one has to be with the green gem. And... Hmm. 
yellow. Red can go up there. And that can't go there. But this could go there, and then that could go there. Okay, now this still won't work. So let's move him down here. Did I get it? Yes! I got it! Epilogue. Although concealing the location of the regalia might have been interpreted by loyalists of her time as traitorous, clearly Queen Anne believed in the sacrament of the monarchy and did what she felt necessary to ensure the preservation, sure its preservation. With the benefit of hindsight, Anne's actions are seen not only as just, but as courageous. Patriotism is not a trait for the ages. Regimes rise and fall, and it is when, and it is when as much as to, oh, and it is when as much as to who you show fealty, field, fealty, hmm, that determines your allegiance. After all, what are revolutionaries but loyalists to a yet unborn regime? Spoken by someone who won something. Oh, then that's the end. Ta-da! We did it. Um, it was fun. Uh, some of it didn't make a lot of sense, uh, especially the. Oh, you know what? Actually, we're gonna we're gonna quit out. Yes, because I have to look up and see if Cromwell's body is really inside the palace. Because there is no way that is true. And if I am wrong, that is hysterical. Wow, they were not happy with him, apparently. Whew. I don't think anyone knows where he is. So that story is not, in fact, true. Yep, I think that is the case, unless I am reading this incorrectly. His head is somewhere, but uh, his body, not so much. They think he's in Westminster Abbey, which means he was not, in fact, hidden in side Buckingham Palace, and then royalty bought the palace, and his body was inside the whole time, and they didn't know. <laughs> well, I, apparently they were very, very upset with him. I will link that when I post on YouTube. It, uh, they, they kind of, um, they kind of gave him the once over. Uh, I remember that he did something bad. That's all I know. Like again, not English don't know English history. I probably should. It's just in a closet somewhere, probably. Who knows at this point? All right, so I guess since it's getting on midnight where I am now, I should probably stop talking. <laughs> and uh, we will do another Hidden Mysteries at some point, but I actually want to start a um, playthrough of the Mystery Case File games, starting with the first one, um, because I just remembered they existed and I haven't played them in a really long time. And actually, it turns out I missed some of them. So I think that might, might be what I do after we finish the other ones we're working on. We're working on um, Charles Dexter Ward for Haunted Hotel. And I thought we were working on one other one, but maybe I'm making that up. All right. So my name is Fate Touched and I will see you later. Bye.